What's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna take a brand new Cuddy Link camera. This is a J1538, a black flash camera. New in the box, I'm gonna connect it to an existing Cuddy Link system. So, just wanted to show you all that process in case you need to do the same thing. Here are the steps you can follow. First thing I'm gonna do is take it out of the box here. antenna on right away. The next thing that we need to do is get the batteries in here. And then you can see right on the back here there is a battery map for how the batteries need to go into this camera. So we're just going to open it by undoing that latch and I'm gonna put the batteries in following this map. All right, so the batteries are in, closing the door. Now it's super important that this latch goes all the way around the bottom like that for a proper seal on the camera. Once we have the batteries in, the camera is gonna automatically come on and it's gonna say, press up. So I'm going to hit the up arrow and the first thing I do before I do anything else is I'm going to update the firmware. All of my current cameras are on the most up-to-date firmware which is 8.3. We need to get this camp to make sure this camera is on that firmware otherwise it will not be able to communicate with the other cameras in my system. So to do that and it's very important that you do this right away because updating the firmware is a new operating system so it's going to reset all of your settings so you don't want to set the clock or anything like that before you update the firmware because you may just have to redo it so to update the firmware i'm going to hit mode over to commands the three lines here are the commands and then i'm going to hit more until i get to the firmware menu and that's going to say load firmware so firmware version right now is 7.10. And now we're on load firmware. The firmware needs to be put on an SD card. This comes from the Cuddyback website. I will put a link in the description on how to load the firmware onto, onto the SD card in case you need help with that step. But once the firmware is on the SD card, we're just gonna put it in. There's a little map on the bottom of your camera for how your SD card goes in. So I'm loading that. Once it's in to actually execute the command, we hit the up arrow twice, okay? Then it's gonna say busy. And this is good, this is what's supposed to be happening. And there we go, it says welcome. So as soon as uh, the firmware has successfully um, uploaded, it's gonna say welcome. And from there, we can go into setting our settings. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the date and time. Set the time, we're gonna use the up and down arrows. So I'm gonna go up to two o'clock. Now we have the hour, I'm gonna hit the more button to get over to minutes. And we're gonna go to 22. And hit the more button to change the date. This needs to go to six. Six is the month, June 26th. Right now, we got the month. More to get to the date. 
and we can go down here down to 26 and then more to get the year and up to 22 more okay now we need to do our link settings and what we need to do for that is hit the mode button over to commands and then we're going to hit more until we get to link menu To get into the link menu, we're going to hit the up arrow twice. Okay, link mode is remote. That's good. This is a remote camera. Hitting the more button, link location. Now, each camera has to have a unique location. I have 11 cameras in my system already, so I'm going to set this to location 12. This is the 12th camera. Okay. Location 12, now I can hit more. Channel. Every camera needs to be on the same channel. So what I use for my channel is my birthday and that's 417. So I'm gonna use the up and down arrow. Four. Um, to get from the first setting to the second, I'm gonna hit more. And now I'm gonna to go to 17. Okay, link count 250. We'll leave it at 250. This is the uh, number of images that can be in the queue um, waiting to be sent to the home camera. This shouldn't ever be an issue. Now, the next part in this menu is the link level. And this is what we're going to look at when we actually get in the location that we're going to put the camera. But once we establish the link level, we are good to arm the camera and and ready to go so actually right here in this location i have 10 week but this is not the location that the camera is going to be so all i'm going to do is just shut it off hit mode over to off and the up arrow twice and we're just going to let this camera sit until we get in the location that we want to be okay i am at the location that i'm going to put this camera I'm running a solar panel on this. This is in the woods, but it looks like the river's right over here. So it looks like with the sun going down, we're gonna get four to six hours of sunlight on this camera. So anyway, I plugged in the C2 to C2 cable camera to solar power bank before I'm turning the camera on. So. Now I'm going to zoom in on this screen and show you guys what you need to do to arm the camera and this should mesh up with the rest of your Cuddy Link system. So to turn the camera on, I'm just going to hit the mode button and we're going to go, well I'm checking the clock, the clock is correct, it's 622. Now I'm going to commands, I'm using the mode button, commands are the three lines. And then I'm going to hit more until I get to link menu. To get into the link menu, I'm going to hit the up arrow twice. Okay, link mode remote. This is location 12. Link channel 417. Link count is 250. And now this link level is going to flash at us and it's going to let us know what kind of single we have. Okay, 32 good. And this is uh this camera is about I don't know, it's a good it's a good way. It's probably a half mile from the home camera, but I have a couple other cameras linked to it. Um, you know, it's through deep woods. We're going to watch it here for a minute. Started at 24, now it's up to 34. Or sorry, it started at 32. But if you watch it for a minute, you should have a good idea of what it's going to be. So this camera looks like it's gonna be good. 
And once you establish this link level, then all you need to do is arm the camera. And this is gonna mesh together with the rest of the system. So to arm the camera, I'm just hitting mode over to arm. And as long as we're all good, this is gonna start counting down from 29. And we're arming the camera. So definitely I'm of the opinion that you can never have too many Cuddy Link cameras. The great thing about the system is that you can connect up to 24 cameras, including the home camera. And you know, sometimes in the summer like this, it's hard to hard to find the bucks, and you might be just off of them. So it's good to get extra cameras out if you can, and you know, do what you can to uh, start taking inventory. Definitely getting exciting. It's almost July, and the bucks are growing.